we will travel to Rome, um, where we have Daniela de Pascalis and Jessica Matthewson from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Uh, I'm going to say that in Swedish, Livsmedels och Landbruks Organet, FNs Livsmedels och Landbruks Organ. And you will talk to us a bit about how you work with the Wikimedia platforms and uh, uh, sharing free knowledge. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just wanted to say um, hello from Rome and thank you so much for the opportunity to uh, speak to this group. We're all very excited and um, we are looking forward to working more with Wikimedia Sweden. Thank you so much for the invitation. You can go on to the first slide. Okay. So my name is Jessica Matthewson. I'm a librarian, but I'm also responsible for intellectual property at FAO. FAO stands for, as you said, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. And um, we're one of the largest specialized agencies at the United Nations. And the dissemination of information is one of the core tenets of our mandate. It's stated in Article 1 of the FAO Constitution that one of our primary reasons for being is to collect and share information as widely as possible with anyone who might need to use it. But the FAO Constitution was written in 1945. So obviously anyone, I mean, no one back then could have had an idea of the kinds of things that we deal with today when it comes to sharing information in the digital age. But one of the things that FAO saw very clearly early on is how important it would be for us to be able to collect and share information in electronic formats. So Wikipedia was a natural fit for us. I can't say that it was a perfect fit, and there were a few bumps along the way, which we can talk about later, but by 2019, we were making our first attempts at contributing knowledge and information to Wikipedia. You can go on to the next slide. So FAO was an early adopter in the United Nations when it comes to Wikipedia, but we weren't the first. We were lucky to join an initiative that was started by UNESCO that was already on the ground and it was up and running. The main objective of the UN Wikipedia project is to provide a platform for UN agencies to contribute authoritative information to Wikipedia and their fields of expertise. References and links to FAO publications help to ensure the credibility of Wikipedia content on the one hand, while on the other hand, FAO's presence in Wikipedia provides us with a wider audience to make sure that the information that we produce has more possibility of reaching anyone who might benefit from having access to it. You can go to the next slide. So as I said, there were a couple of bumps along the way. And actually, rather than a couple of bumps, it was really only one. And that has to do with the default license that FAO applies to almost all of its content. As probably many of you in the room already know, FAO has a commercial restriction on the licenses that we provide to most of the material that uh, we store in our institutional repository. And the reason for this has to do with the strong value throughout the United Nations that's placed on not allowing third parties to use UN content for commercial purposes. The topic is hotly discussed in the UN community and there are really strong feelings on all sides of the argument. And I personally think that part of the problem has to do with the fact that many of our policies were developed in the 1940s and the 1950s, and they really aren't compatible, like I said earlier, with the way that we share information digitally. But each organization in the United Nations is going to have to come up with its own policy in the end. And um, FAO is making some headway on making changes to our policy. But in the meantime, what we really wanted to do was work with Wikipedia. So, so now we're working with uh, sharing information in sort of a, a compromise sort of situation. Not a compromise, we made a compromise. So... Um, some publications are uploaded to Wikipedia, but these are always going to be executive summaries or other types of freestanding synopses of material that will be expanded further in a much larger publication.
And for these summary materials, we do assign a non-restrictive license compatible with Wikipedia without a commercial restriction, but the full publication will remain in FAO's institutional repository with the CCBY NCSA license with a commercial use restriction. So for now, for publications that don't have a summary version, we work on making original content, writing original content that we put directly into Wikipedia, but now without the support of an uploaded publication. We provide links to the publication where it exists in our repository. Um, my colleague, Daniela, can go into much further detail about exactly what we've been doing with Wikipedia. And she can give you more details about how we get it done. So for now, I'll pass the floor to my colleague, Daniela de Pascalis. Thank you, Jessica, and Taksumike for inviting us. That's how far my Swedish goes. <laughs> we can go on to the next slide so I can show you a bit how um, we've uh, we've been working with Wikipedia since 19, uh, since 2019, as Jessica um, already already mentioned. It's been it's been quite a journey, and uh, we've uh, we've developed uh, different ways of uh, uh, collaborating with uh, with the Wikipedia the Wikimedia movement. So we started out in 2019 and it was basically a phase where um, we were trained by uh, by Wikipedia experts um, we were cl um, closely guided um, to, to know how to pull out uh, content that could be interesting for um, for updating um, Wikipedia uh, pages which are relevant to our areas of work um, after this let's say um, training and trial at the same time period, uh, we passed on to a phase of uh, consolidation where um, the, the selected uh, colleagues within the, the publications and library uh, branch uh, could uh, at some point teach um, other colleagues within the organization to um, edit page uh, themselves. Um, of course, we, we have always been uh, supported by subject specialists because nine out of 10 uh, times these uh, very same specialists were uh, the authors of, uh, of the publications. And of course, they know best um, how to um, add content on uh, um, relevant wiki, Wikipedia pages. Um, after this uh, this kind of uh, consolidation phase, we were finally able to uh, open up to our colleagues. We were willing to know more how to uh, contribute to uh, to Wikipedia and uh, disseminate uh, FAO authoritative knowledge through a, a series of, of workshops. Workshops which were mainly aimed at empowering staff to edit pages independently under our supervision, so the supervision of the uh, publications and um, and library team. I can uh, can just mention one that we held in um, 2022. It was uh, somehow in conjunction with uh, International Women's Day. It was a two-day uh, training. The first day was uh, um, an introduction to Wikipedia, uh, do's and don'ts, and uh, um, and, and showing basically, um, let's say, fr from the basics, so how to set up a profile up until, um, I mean, uh, colleagues were able to um, uh, to use uh, the platform uh, at, their, um, at their best. The other, the, the second day was mainly focused on using content taken from uh, selected um, FAO publications uh, on uh, uh, gender, uh, gender mainstreaming, digitalization. Uh, so basically taking content which was relevant for that day to raise awareness on, uh, on that specific day. And I remember that uh, uh, this event was in the bigger uh, framework of the um, Wikimedia uh, Sweden initiative on uh, um, disseminating um, content uh, and uh, on women during International uh, Women's Day. Uh, we can go on to the next slide. So, uh, Jessica mentioned um, that we uh, have uh, two different ways of treating content uh, taken from uh, uh, FAO publications. Some publications, so summary versions, uh, brochures, um, um, small, let's say, editorial products uh, are uh, uploaded into Wikimedia Commons. This allows us uh, to get rid of the non-commercial restriction. So having unrestricted content that we can uh, um, 
um, ingest into Wikipedia pages as is. For all the rest of the content, so the content taken from uh, publications which won't go into Wikimedia uh, Commons and which uh, of, uh, uh, will keep their um, non-commercial restriction, we uh, try to work uh, to work it out a bit, just uh, not to, um, let's say, basically inf infringe copyright, even if it's uh, ourselves uh, using uh, this uh, very same content on, uh, on Wikipedia uh, pages. So in this slide, you will see um, two different uh, um, uh, indicators, one for unrestricted content and one for restricted content. Um, we have a way of uh, monitoring the um, engagement around the, the pages where FAO uh, unrestricted content is, uh, uh, is present and it's uh, a publicly accessible uh, link. Just to give you an overview, um, so far we have uh, uh, up, uh, updated um, some, uh, some 70 uh, pages with unrestricted content and this content is both textual but also uh, charts and visuals which um, have then been uh, been used by ourselves, but uh, also uh, by other uh, by other users. In uh, uh, 2022, uh, the total views of uh, pages with uh, FAO unrestricted content was around at 8.5 uh, million. And among the um, the top pages, we have uh, uh, agriculture, women's empowerment, and uh, and biodiversity. Um, of course. Uh, how to monitor pages with uh, FEO, let's say, restricted content, so content that has been uh, rephrased. Um, unfortunately, we don't have um, a tool for that too, uh, but we can use, um, we, we can count the number um, FAO is mentioned throughout Wikipedia. And of course, according to uh, estimates from uh, 2022, uh, we have some uh, 7,000, um, 6,700 uh, FAO citations throughout Wikipedia pages. We can go on to the next slide. So since this year's theme uh, <clears throat> for this Wikipedia uh, day is environment and climate change, I uh, just uh, um, uh, listed some of uh, the pages where um, FAO content is uh, uh, present. Um, I am not sure if we can click off, uh, on uh, some of the, uh, I think it's best to click on agriculture because I want to show you how you can um, identify content which uh, is unrestricted if we scroll down to the to the end of the page further down yes right after the references yes yes a bit up you can see you have cited sources. That's basically the uh, the disclaimer uh, that we add at the bottom of the pages that use FAO unrestricted content just to make sure that you can see clearly and, and in a transparent way that we are using uh, text from a free content work the license you have uh, you can click on the license statement or the the permission so basically wikimedia commons giving us the permission to use that specific content in an unrestricted way and then um of course you have uh, the title of the publication um you can you can click and have uh, the um, relevant wikimedia uh, file as well as the fao uh, publication so whenever you um you come across a page which is uh, uh, relevant relevant to FAO uh, areas of work, you can uh, go and check whenever there's a um FAO unrestricted content, uh, which was uh, used and, of course, clearly stated at the um, uh, bottom of the page, besides the regular uh, references that are used uh, throughout the page. We can go uh, back to the presentation and on to the next slide. Yes, so basically, as uh, uh, Jad from uh, IAA um, asked, so what next? 
um, also in FAO are thinking about what, can, what uh, we can do for the future and what are the ways in which we can uh, strengthen our collaboration with, uh, uh, with Wikipedia in uh, uh, a constant effort to disseminate uh, authoritative and technical knowledge in the domain of uh, agriculture, forestry, fisheries, uh, food safety, and many other uh, areas of, uh, of work of our organization. Of course, uh, we are uh, looking at strategy towards a more topic-driven approach, because as, uh, as of now, the, our main focus and main, let's say, starting point is more a, um, more a publication-driven approach. We want to, let's say, to to go broader and uh, try to identify topics uh, that are, of course, relevant to our uh, to the work of our organization. But even there are hot topic things that are, that may be uh, uh, important that are that are being discussed right now, and in which we can provide. Um, uh, very, very useful uh, information about. Um, we want to strengthen also the, the uh, internal collaboration by creating a uh, task force across teams. At the moment, it's uh, uh, mainly um, the publications uh, branch dealing with this with the help of, uh, of uh, um, uh, technical uh, specialists, but uh, we would like to empower even more um, um, colleagues within the different uh, uh, the different areas of work to create synergies also among uh, topics and uh, and areas of expertise. We're also considering having a Wikimedian in residence, which would, of course, uh, help us and guide us through the do's and don'ts and uh, help us have uh, um, an even stronger presence in, uh, in, uh, in Wikipedia. Um, and Jessica. <laughs> yeah, and um, as I said earlier, one of the things that we're really um, working on um, is we're trying to figure out a way that, um, like IEA did, we would love to be able to um, remove our commercial use restriction, which would um, be great for helping us to be able to um, provide even more um, authoritative resources and the full text of any publication that is worth being uploaded to uh, Wikipedia to be added to um, this great resource. Thank you very much for this introduction. A round of applause to you. And to the work that you are pursuing uh, in this area. Um, I was going to ask the audience if any one of you has any questions or uh, no, uh, not straight ahead. Uh, but then I can ask, uh, we saw an example from uh, English Wikipedia. Uh, do you have several official languages that you're working on or is it mainly the English one that has citations right now or do you have any statistics of that? Well, at the moment, at the moment, we are uh, mainly um, uh, working uh, with English, but uh, other languages are uh, in the pipeline. For English, uh, we uh, already have uh, all the tools that we need also to monitor uh, the, the engagement around the, the page afterwards, but it's um, also in light of uh, the pursuit of uh, multilingualism, which is uh, um, uh, at the core of, uh, of our organization. Uh, this is something that we are really looking forward to uh, for, for the future. So working also uh, for uh, with other uh, languages. Thank you for that clarification. Uh, and I asked uh, Jed uh, from the IAA uh, this question, but I would also like to uh, ask you, what would you like to see from the volunteers of the Wikimedia movement? Uh, moving ahead, using your material, sharing it, uh, taking it forward. What would you like to, to see? <laughs> as far as I as I can say, the more the merrier, because I uh, I think that um, it's a it's a very um, interesting and useful uh, opportunity uh, to be uh, present uh, in uh, in wikipedia but sometimes uh, we um, uh, we would need uh, a lot more um, people to help us uh, disseminate uh, this knowledge as much as possible so i would say that um, any any help from uh, 
the um, the community of volunteers is uh, uh, would be very much welcome. Thank you, and we will see which strings we can pull uh, within the UN to uh, update the licenses. Uh, I don't know what what networks we have in this association, but uh, we'll do our best to support you in that. Thank you so much for uh, participating today, taking your time this Saturday. Um, and I hope you both have uh, a lovely evening. And uh, we look forward to continue our uh, work together with you on these issues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.